In this video, we're going to discuss how to measure the loudness of a piece of music using meters in your DAW. DAWs typically have two kinds of meters. Peak meters, which only tell us if we're overloading the digital equipment, and average meters, which kind of tell us how loud the music feels, but not really in a way that our ears hear music. In the 1990s, noted mastering engineer Bob Katz designed the K system. The K meters are weighted in a way that our ears hear music. So Isotope Insight provides a K meter. If we open Isotope Insight to the meter view and select options, we have the options of either the standard peak and RMS meter, which is a peak and an average meter, or we can look at the K system meter, which is a K weighted meter. The K weighted meter provides three scales or loudness targets. The scales are minus 20 for classical music, minus 14 for pop music, and minus 12 for louder radio music, top 40 kind of music. We're going to go with the K12 scale for now and I'll show you how the meter looks. On this meter, the most important display is this number here. Right now it says minus 10.1. That's the integrated LUFS. Integrated means average and LUFS means loudness units below full scale, which is the top of the digital meter. When mastering music, one of our main goals is to match the volume or loudness between two songs so that they play well in the same album or playlist. Let's look at an example of that. Let's take this green song and measure the volume during this loud chorus. We're going to look at our LUFS meter here. We can see that this song averages around minus 8.3 LUFS. Let's check the red song. This song looks like it's averaging about 3 dB lower than the green song, so let's put a limiter on it and bring up the level. So now we've matched the level of loudness using the meter, let's compare the sound of each song to each other and see how they sound. Keep in mind that different songs, different styles, different genres are going to look different and sound different. Their levels might not match on an LUFS meter even when they sound correct. So we use the meter to verify that what we hear is correct, but remember to use your ears. Keep in mind that we were comparing the loudest part of one song to another. When comparing two songs in the same genre, we want to compare the loudest chorus when we're mastering to make sure that they have the same type of impact. Keep your masters musical, but try to match the level of songs that are competitive to what you're working on. Also keep in mind that streaming services average the level of your song over the whole length of the song. That average is going to be slightly lower than the loudest part of your song. So I hope you understand more about how to read loudness level and how to match the level of your mixes and masters to reference mixes out there. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to explain how to read real-time analyzers, spectrum analyzers, and frequency meters in your DAW.